She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. What's going on here? It's chamomile and goatweed. She brewed teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. Drove make a note. Her father testified. Potions? Are you mad? Everybody drinks potions. Oh, what's happened while we were gone? Some elves getting kicked out. Ever heard the legends of the White Wolf? <laughs> Gee, have I ever? Oh, I'm still wearing the. Uh, we're back in the city now. Maybe we should put on armor clothing again. Mm hmm. And the gloves. I wonder if me not wearing gloves earlier was why that fist fight took a while. Hmm. <laughs> the the mask. Uh, we'll keep it on for now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what do you seek here, stranger? Yes, and? Boars. Boars everywhere. Oh, I'm sick. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? <laughs> what pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Whoa, look at the guy behind me. He's getting ready to kill me. Uh... We're probably at the point where, even if we try to cast Igni to light up a candle, they'll call me a witch, right? Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Okay. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. <sighs> then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're. Not your concern. Back to your post. That guy sounds like Roach. <laughs> Regards from Siggy Reuven. Oh. Eternal Fire Letter of Safe Conduct. To whom it may concern, let it be known that the bearer of the present document may enter and leave the free city of Novigrad at will, both during the day and at night, and shall for no reason be perturbed, harmed, harassed, or molested in any way. His Holiness, Hierarch Hemelfart. Hmm. Good thing we have um, Sigi Reuven with us, huh? So he knew this was going to be a thing, probably because he got back to the city before I did. One or not, death awaits us all. Just look at the free Piss off. Just look at the freak. Sick. All these Sick women here, and oh, not just women. <laughs> this guy and this woman here. They're standing next to the desk being like, oh yeah, look at those elves, look at those mages. They can't get in now. That's the only reason why they're standing here, right? Gosh. Did something happen? It seems like the, the process of getting everybody out of here just expedited immediately. There's two quests at Rosemary and Time. Help, save me. Do I'm not get in poverty. my way. That a threat? Duke's only well, giving you a bit of advice. But if it's threat you want, he'll tell. I'm not talking to you. You need any help, Zoltan? I'll give it to you after I take off the mask. <laughs> and I guess we should look at our points too, because we've had that point for a while. Yes, one point. Um, we have a new slot unlocked now. Okay. Hmm. Alchemy might be something to extend into if we're gonna use decoctions, right? Increases potion overdose threshold, but we don't have a thing for a green thing. Maybe, well, it's not that big of a deal, getting the colors to match. Yeah, it's just a bonus thing, right? Nice if we have it, not really that crazy if we don't. Oil. Blade oil. Time is slowed when aiming bombs. Yeah, like we ever aim bombs. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. But, in exchange, potion duration time plus 5%. 1. 1 out of what? If toxicity above 0, time automatically slows down when an enemy is about to perform a counterattack. Oh, uh, wait, first of all, we have these already, right? Do we have them? Yeah, these are core abilities. Oh. Potion overdose threshold. Potion duration time increased by 5%. Ooh, 
Ooh, each potion dose imbibed heals 5% of maximum vitality. What? That sounds amazing. Well, we can, um, we have the potion to redo all of the points, so I don't think we should think this hard. Yeah, just, just, you know, put in something, try it out. If it doesn't work, oh well, and we'll, we'll try to, um, mix it around some other time. Okay. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. <laughs> Competition? Another brothel? Uh, yeah, let's be a little bit threatening here. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. <laughs> What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <clears throat> uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shit without the shovel. Well, the Duke is not an idiot. He's probably seen a witcher at work before. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Class! Errol, a scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. <laughs> that guy's trying to replace Horson Jr., but he doesn't have the class of all things. Oh my god. A little bit surprised that a fourth person could rise up, though. I know we previously had four, but my assumption would be that as soon as the, the vacuum of Horson Jr. not being here anymore was created, then the other three would immediately come devour his territory because they don't want a fourth person coming out. Hmm. Duke, does he have a name beyond that? What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam. The king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. <laughs> Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Well, do you want me to get you the cards? But I want it for my collection, too. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying, too. Hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. Has a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. I think it might be easier if you told me how much your debt is. Dangerous game. Zed? Who is Isengrim? I don't know. But we gotta meditate because I can't stand looking at that veiny face. 
3 a.m. Long as the black ones are chasing gorillas around the Kedweni woods, Novigrad's safe. Have you been eavesdropping the whole time? Why are you still here? Okay, uh, we can go drinking right now, or we can check out what this, this Gwent thing is all about. Yeah, I think uh, some of you have been mentioning that there's been something that I've been periodically missing every time I go near the, um, the shores, the dock area. So when we're in that area again, I'm gonna have to look a little bit more carefully. Fists of Fury. A dangerous game. Oh. Well, I mean, this is closer, but this is a, it's a relaxing thing, right? The, um, the drinking. So let's put Zoltan at ease by getting the cards first, and then we'll go drinking, because that's going to be, that's going to be full relaxation, right? Can't really drink to your content when you have a huge debt on your mind. Telling you for the last time, go away. <laughs> Mercy, we two children. Yeah, how, am I, you... how are they without a father? Go before they lose their mother as well. Is the father an elf or something? <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, what happened to the father? Does that mean that we're not gonna see? In from Tameria. Oh yeah, look at Got that. An eye on you, white one. There's these these stalls Wonderful. at every gate now. Hmm. Oh God. Hey, to leave this city somehow. Okay. Zed. Do we know a Zed? Locked. But looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Got to find another way in. How do we know he's in hot water? Just based off our Witcher senses. Um. Here? Is his full name Zed? Or is it just the first letter of. No, that would be too Canadian, right? Because <laughs> it's Z, not Zed. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoa, Gwent is serious business. <laughs> Must be Zed. Oh. Well, maybe he... Oh, he's a fence in general, right? So it might not be related to Gwent specifically. Whoa! Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Oh, I didn't expect people to still be here. Oh, my God. Went to serious business. I know it makes sense that, you know, some cards are worth a lot and people are killing other people over it. But damn. Card games. Ow. And now even more people have died because of it. Isengrim. Oh, Isengrim Fa Faul Tiana? <laughs> Who is that? Isengrim Foil Tiana from the Square Tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Can I check it out? Damn, if it's gonna be worth this much, maybe I should sell my deck and call it a day with Gwent. Oh, oh, it's a hero card, a 10 hero card. It dawns on them once they notice my scar. A realization of imminent death. Oh, morale boost, huh? Cool. Wait. You're the same as Milva, but you're a hero, that's all. <laughs> okay. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Ledger? Ledger of income and outlays. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Steel sword, new Fabian Olivier? Moth-eaten coat of gold cloth, Duke. What? Moth-eaten coat? Isengrim Falitiana, Ravik. 
Oh, we have the cards here. Vangela Vigo, Caesar Bilzen. Three polished peacock opals. Vixen. We got some leads. But maybe Zoltan can look for it himself. Um. Yeah. <laughs> not much else here. We better get out before they think we killed Zed. Hold up. These cards on the table... I mean, I feel like... Oh, it's all Esterat Tyson, isn't it? <laughs> There's like five Esterat Tyson cards on the, the table there. Well, let's get out. Times are dangerous right now. We don't want people to think we're some some mage, right? What's the hurry, my prince? <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta go back to Zoltan then, huh? And that's it. Pretty much. Shh. Apparently we can do this now, but let's just save it until we're level 23. Why not? Yeah, how is the, um, the quest levels looking anyway? 12? Oh, this is 12. 11. Oh, because this one requires us going to Skellige. Yeah, Skellige. That's where Yennefer is, right? I'll it's... Give you a discount I guess the whole... Deeds, the, the whole Yennefer Triss well, thing is kind of like... Gods. Okay, we're You're seeing a lot of Triss in Novigrad right now, but Yennefer has been completely out of action the whole time. What? Yeah. Oh. They suddenly looked at me, yeah. so I thought they were gonna attack me. Oh, fuck. I'm right now. Because if you haven't um, read the books, then what we know, like if you've only played the games, then what we know of Yennefer is the three seconds that we spent together in Vizima Castle in the beginning, and then that's pretty much it. In comparison, Triss has been here the whole time. It's pretty uneven exposure to both characters, I guess. Pretty uneven amounts of time of exposure. Zoltan. Get out. Um... You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleet's flammable, and any assault on the city's sure to touch off riots during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. Oh, I guess Radovid hasn't officially taken Novigrad, but wandering around, seeing all the propaganda posters and the Eternal Fire people, I always got the impression that if Radovid came here, it would sort of be like, Welcome, welcome our king! Yeah, so... Uh, I feel like he would definitely have it easier than Emir if they try to take Novigrad. Mm, but maybe it's because, in addition to the Eternal Fire, the, the big four, or the big three now, are a huge component of it too, right? And one of them is an ex Redanian spy master, so maybe that's where the tension comes in. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I got one concept for you. <laughs> the big four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Whore Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Did we ask him about this previously? It seems like we were supposed to talk about this, like, ages ago. Before Horson died. About those cards. He got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? 
Zoltan. Sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. <laughs> Rather not get involved. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Oh, all right. Zoltan. Oh, sorry! Think I've done what I was supposed to do. Gotta see to some other matters. Shame, as I could use some help. But, well, change your mind, come and see me. I thought we... Yeah, I thought we were gonna go look for the guy, but I think we had to do the yellow one. Zoltan. <laughs> Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Zed. One ca Didn't... Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. <laughs> and if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Hmm. I guess we can do the individual one first, huh? John Atalus from Ravik. <laughs> Is anybody gonna challenge me to a game of Gwent for these cards? Yeah? Okay, well, which one's closer? This guy's here, John Atalus, and the other guy is in Hierarch Square, just like Zoltan said. I didn't notice anybody with a really extravagant house, though. Oh. Okay. Um... We have the docks over here, and earlier, apparently I'm missing something around there, right? So I maybe I'll just walk over there and see if we can run into anything? Especially because the city seems a little bit different now. So maybe just walking around will lead to different things. For one, we shouldn't be seeing... Wait, elves? Elves aren't even mages. They were kicking out the elf earlier just because he used a potion or something? My goodness, First anything will be an excuse sun, these days. Now they'll throw us out into the street. And the whole, I mean, yeah, the whole eternal fire sentiment exactly. with them kicking out mages, that's totally a rat of it thing, isn't it? Hey, blacksmith, can I sell you some stuff? Need something sharp? Yes, yes. What do you have? Yeah, you know what? We're level 18 now. Oh, then maybe we should go back to the Rosemary and Time and craft that griffin sword? Yeah. Do we have the materials? Probably. Witch Slayer. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it though. Velen. Velen Longsword. Okay, I guess I'll keep these things. Mahakaman trousers. Assassin's gauntlets. Well, this is a relic. Oh, but I sold the other relic. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna use these anyway. Do wanna check if we can. Oh, repair. Repair. Oh, look at all the repairs we need. Yeah. And... Uh, crafting. Cured draconid leather. Oh. Okay. I thought we had something... Like, didn't we... We bought a whole bunch of runestone formulas previously at the Peller, but maybe this guy can't craft it because he's a blacksmith. I don't know. Alchemy! Um, hold on. Was it under crafting? 
No, because you make swords. Right, right, right. Silver... Uh... No. The other one. Griffin Steel Sword Enhanced. The only thing I'm missing is the default Griffin Steel Sword. Plus Dark Steel Ingot. Which you don't have and I can't buy it off of you. Huh. Okay. Well, the Griffin Steel Sword Enhanced, okay? We don't have the Silver Sword formula, that's why it's not here. Is there like a Enhanced Griffin Armor? I wonder? Do I have the formula for that? We'd have to go back to the Armorer in the Hierarch Square to check. I don't know. So long. I wonder if we can find it somewhere. Like, uh... Well, just looking at the dots on the map might be a little bit too difficult. Scavenger Hunt... No, I don't think we had it, right? Because if we look at the journal, it's probably going to be level 18, but... Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay, we do have it. Level 8. <laughs> this wolf one, level 14, I still can't get it. Hmm. Where's the gauntlet? The gauntlet is... All the way in the south. Oh. Okay. In this set, we have the gauntlet, the armor, and the silver sword. So we do have armor already. Right. If we... Ah, oh, we gotta get it out of the Rosemary and Time stash, probably. And then we'll go to the blacksmiths and make the armor again. It's a little bit of a waste, though. Oh, hold on. I changed my quest just now. Bit of a waste, because we just made a set at level 17, and now we're making another set at level 18. Yeah, it seems kind of like um, a waste of effort. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We should get it, though, because, you know, apparently it's good and all. Maybe it's because the next upgrade won't be for another while. Like, what's the one after 18? Level 29? That's the one that I remember seeing. But if we look here... Oh, there's a 21. Oh, but the level 21 one, we can't do it because we don't have the base wolf school gear. And I don't know how to go to Karamorn. Seems like that might be a main story thing, so that's gonna take a long while. Ravik? Ravik is in the house, or...? Where the heck is Ravik? Ah, well, if you look on the map, there is a... inside. To this place. The front? Um the golden sturgeon. Oh, right. Like to go out for oh, there's hardly anybody in here. Captain Wolverstone. May I? Depends what with. Looking for someone who'll sail to Skellige and take me with them. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our skellig, carrying grain, but that's our shush. <laughs> Got any coin? There's multiple people who will take me to Skellige. Are all their prices different? Gotta get more coin. You sure do, for I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Okay, whatever, man. City. Racial hygiene's huh. as poor as... Their personal hygiene. What'll it be? You are an innkeep who I haven't played Gwent with yet, but... What are you serving? I wonder if you have the cordial whatever stuff. Cherry cordial! Mandrake cordial. Redanian herbal. Oh. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't remember which one we need, but you know what? We'll just buy all of it. Whatever. It's just... It's money. Nilf Guardian Lemon, pretty sure we have that. Dad. Everything else, these ones? Cow's milk, goat's milk. No. I don't even know what we were trying to um what we were trying to make. <laughs> Farewell. I think it was something alchemy related. No. Right, right, right. It was the advanced swallow potion, right? And we needed white gull. We can make white gull now! Oh, but we only have one cherry cordial and one mandrake cordial. That's one white gull. 
One. Can we do anything with one? Yeah, we can make this. Enhance Samum Bomb. And then... Enhance Relic Oil. Oh, but these are like... This is kind of rare, isn't it? Cave Troll Liver? Hmm. Right, for this one... So now I have the White Gall. But I need two Vitriol. Oh! We can probably get that at an Alchemist, I feel like. Pin this. Pin this. Yeah, and don't make anything else before we craft this one. Because I feel like I might accidentally use the ingredients. This one might be okay. Yeah. Still okay? Yeah, vitriol. Vitriol. The mountain of blue powder. Okay, well, thank you. If we need more white gull, I'll remember to come back to you. You guys aren't playing anything. I'm in a rut. I've you such a hard time, time finding Who inspiration. Knows? Musician's the block. Fire oh, you make a fine sailor. It's uh, it's really nice that we're here, but um, oh, our quest objective changed. No wonder. I thought we were in the wrong place entirely. Here we go. Oh, are you in the room of um? What the heck is her name? The Oniromancer. Odd though he is, girls can't seem to look away. No, you're not up here. Are you below? True, but a hair's breadth. Yes. Are you guys playing Gwent here already, or? How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and... Uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Of course, at a Gwent quest, we have to play Gwent, right? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! <laughs> Are we gonna use a dual disc? How many life points? 9,000? Uh, okay, Northern Realms is probably the safe bet here. I do want to try using Scoia'tael and Monster soon, though. But for the, the random people, not... Not this stuff. Uh, I gave... No, the card we got was um, Scoia'tael earlier, and we gave it to Zoltan already. Okay, alright. Decoy, decoy, impenetrable fog, commander's horn, gondor dim, blue stripes, ballista, catapult, catapult, Estereth Tyson. Two catapults! That's good. That is good. Uh, you are using a Nilfgaardian deck. Which means you might have spies, which means we should probably keep the decoys. But we don't need impenetrable fog, maybe. Scorch! Okay. Um, uh, maybe the ballista is something else we can get rid of? Yes! Two blue stripes. Good. Half our hand here are non-number cards, so we might have to be a little bit careful. And we don't have any spies. I'm kind of relying on him to have spies so we can steal it from him. But we'll see. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, this one. 
We don't have any medics either, because I was thinking maybe we'll just let him die? Because it is good to have him on our side in terms of the numbers. But we don't have a medic. Yeah. So I guess I'll just have to decoy him. Hmm. Which is kind of dumb, because... I'm erasing my own numbers here. I'm lowering them by myself. And now I'm gonna be increasing them for the other side. What the heck? Lower number one first? Ah! This might be pivotal here. We got the dragon. We also have Biting Frost. Biting Frost! That's a really good one here, isn't it? Yeah? Shielard? Have it. Have it all. Another commander's horn and a siege tower. Okay. Yes, close combat. I have nothing in the close combat row. Perfect. 8 to 12. Zeracanian fire scorpion, a 5. Uh, I could Scorch it. It's actually the highest number on the field right now. But do I want to waste Scorch this early? Uh, we have two Commander's Horns. Do I want to win this round? I have 10 cards. He has 7. I think he might want to retaliate though, just because he has so many cards left. Hmm, if I put Commander's Horn on the Gondor of Dims, would that be a good thing? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's have some fun. Eighteen, twenty-four. Mm hmm. 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 Now I can't use Scorch because I'm the highest number here. If we give up now, it feels like we kind of just wasted using the commander's horn, but you know what? It's okay. Because he's still got to put down a whole bunch of cards to beat us. Yeah, so now he only has four cards for the next two rounds. I have double his amount of cards. We should be fine. Rain Farn? Rain Farn. Okay, it's a four. I'll put down a four. You can't scorch me. What? Oh, you gotta stop doing that. Seriously. What a waste. What a waste. But yet, it's still the best option for me to be doing here. Three cards. I'll even give you a four. Yeah? Why not? Medic. And uh, siege thingy for commander's horn. That's good. We can probably get back another spy with a medic, but we don't want to be... Uh, oh, actually, all the spies are on the other side. We can't get it. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Just go in with the... Um, Estera Tyson. Still a little bit keenly aware he could be using Scorch for me, but I don't think he has Scorch. He only has two cards left. Yeah, 10, 10, 10. Catapult? Not good in terms of Scorch for us to be putting this down first. Torrential Rain. That's fine. Are you gonna pass? Yeah. Okay, so I don't even have to do anything then. We're done. Send you to the Shadow Realm. This guy was easy. This guy's a thug, not a card player. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So... Now we'll play something else. Gonna gut you clean, you lass. Take him from the back! I wonder how much we have to upgrade the Axie until we can get to the point where they start attacking their friends. Because that doesn't seem to be a thing for now. 
Woo! Oh my god. All right. Uh. Oh, thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. <laughs> One thug is dead because he was killed by another thug. <laughs> but at least you gotta keep your life, right? That's the important thing here. Yeah. Chicken legs! Would you like some chicken legs? Roasted chicken legs! Hello, Sourpuss. Hello. I thought you would sell me something. Everybody's gone. Weren't there a lot of people eating here earlier? It's scary when people in the bar start fighting. Even just taking two swallow potions. Well, it's okay right now, but the, um, the veins show up pretty easily. But maybe not so much right now because we have the, um, the skill that we got with our points. Okay. Fist Tech Addict. This is like a crappy inn. The people here aren't so... Aren't so rich. Like the people that can afford to go to the Kingfisher Inn. Lucky, Mr. Okay. Oh my god, did I run out of Alkalhast? It's the first time I've seen it do anything beside Alkalhast. Hmm. It's not really a big problem if we don't need Alkalhast for anything else anymore, but yeah. Nothing here. Okay. Zoltan! Meeting Zoltan in front of Caesar Bilzin's house. Find any better. From the Yaruga to the Dragon Mountain. Oh, I saw. Oh, the port. Even the port. They have to do the checks. Name. Carlo. Hey, Carlo Richard. Boy. Any mages in your family? Do Alchemists? Do do? Herbalists? No. Father was a stove that. fitter. Mother. Mother stayed home. What about elves? Any elves? Gods, no! We only crossed Eternal horses and asses like in my village. We took care of human blood, stayed pure. That means you're a good family. No elves. Even though elves don't even explicitly mean Carlo. magic, Carlo right? Any mages in your family? Alchemists, huh. herbalists. Noon, right? I'm wandering Trips along the shore here. Yeah. Have we ever been down here my before? Says I talk too much. Yeah, like these boats here. Eventually, when we go to Skellige, we're gonna have to um, come visit some of these boats, but maybe not right now. A lot of people just working. Yeah, that's how you know I haven't been here. <laughs> the telltale sign. Okay, well that's pretty much it. That is it. It's not like Radovid's ship, where... Honestly though, looking at these ships, it's not that much worse than Radovid's. But it's not like his, where, you know, there were 20 guards there watching me. Do you want to be my boyfriend? No! <laughs> You're a little too young for me, little girl. Thanks for the offer, though. Yeah, this area, I've never really looked around it too closely, have I? There's a shore here. People fishing. Why you? There's a boat right here. Can we use that? I wonder. Double chase. This is like getting to the, the poorer parts of town. Oh, there's a beach here. It's a beach with a, a wrecked boat. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? I don't know. Because I'm old. Yes, I gave hey, you this answer before. Whitey. Why'd your hair go Silverton! White? Ah, Silverton is heavy. within Novigrad. I thought it was another town outside. That's why that guy was saying, Have you been to the bathhouse in Silverton? It's Siggy Rubens, right? I think so. Little boys and girls playing in the sand. That's nice. Where are we now? We're sort of like, just on the edge here. If we want to go back to meet up with Zoltan, we gotta go to the High Arc Square. 
But instead of walking, we could just go to the bridge and, and fast travel back there. Yeah, that's a thing. Or we can just walk along the shore leisurely. Ugh, got a sharp pain in my spine. Yeah. What? Oh, is this the thing that people have been trying to steer me to see? This? <laughs> really? Look at all these bottles! Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? Oh my god, it's all bottles. It's all bottles. Well, at least I can sell you some stuff, right? I can sell you this. <laughs> Here, now you have something else other than bottles. Oh my god. So long. Oh. Wh where are we? <laughs> hey, pretty boy. What do I gotta do to get a lovely pallet like yours? <laughs> we can't talk to him. He's just lying there. Wallowing in self-pity and drunkenness. Are you kidding me? Just in case. <laughs> no, not you. I've got nothing against you. Looking to make some coin too, eh? How do people over there know about this already? Oh! That's even worse. Because uh, the beggar, you can try to frighten him. But with Odrin, you can't do that at all. My mommy says hello. Kidding me. So, hello. Hello, everybody. Hey, boy. What do I gotta do? Odrin and friends, bottle men. Like yours. <laughs> Odrin and friends? Odrin has friends? Hey, what, what happened to you? Why are you here now? Weren't you... So weren't you, um... Work. Frick, what was Hensel's camp called again? It wasn't Redania. Edern? Edernian soldier? That camp, Kedweni, Kedweni! Yeah, Odrin, weren't you a Kedweni soldier? Why are you in Novigrad, drunk out of your mind? Oh my god. And apparently these are just all his friends, and he's got a boat here. Okay, well... <laughs> Not sure if I wanted to see Why? this. Look. Yeah, these shores here, I've just never really... really looked at them all that closely. We gotta make some time to go to an alchemist later on too, because we gotta find the... vitriol powder. Maybe one of them hired thugs. Who knows? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Keep doing whatever you wanna do. Hmm. Oh, so it's possible to get onto the other aisle just by by boat. Yeah, you don't have to take the bridge. It might actually be easier and closer just to swim over, huh? I wonder if regular residents are allowed over there. Is it barred off from the average person? Because the people there seem to be a little bit richer. What's this? Move on. Move on, but you let me in? I'm trying to get to the fast travel point right now. The bridge? Have I passed it? Nope, I'm right on target. But I'm inside some walls, so it's probably not here. That's locked. There's nothing here. Is that... Is that the troll? Probably. I can probably use that to try to figure out where I am, huh? Because where that, that pulsing is happening is where the bathhouse is. Do you know, Mr. Menga? If you don't, you soon will. Oh, we're back here again. On the bottom. I want to get to the bridge area. To make some coin too, eh? But now we're under the bridge. <laughs> That's okay, because we've never actually been here either, have we? Oh, this is the, um, yeah, this goes back to the bathhouse. Bellhaven, oh, oh no! I didn't pick it up yet. Gotta have that. Yeah. 
Okay, well, that's really nice and all, but here... Whoa. I think I lost a lot of health just now. Uh, I don't think we can quite do anything here, can we? All I want to do is get back to the bridge. Is that so much to ask for? But now I've kind of, kind of lost my way here. Hold up. It's so close. You can see it on the map, but I'm not at the... Um, the right level of elevation. Gotta go back up. It's everywhere. I, I, I see it all around. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Maybe this way? This goes back to that passive flora. Oh, we're back at the bathhouse. <laughs> like it. Oh, at this bad. point, it might be easier for me to just... To just walk over to the Hierarch Square. In magic. Oh, no. Ignorance don't That's wipe away your guilt. What does? Big force. Fire. Yeah. Curly fire. Have heard I, I can pay. Everyone. In the bank. Oh, oh you'll pay. Soon. Now be silent. Oh my god. You guys are arresting wealthy people too. Wealthy what human people. Their influence is definitely spreading here. The eternal fire. <laughs> the play's still going on. Gotta tear them down. Those posters. You seen the new waitresses? My, what a freak. Who worth seeing? And oh, is it this house? <laughs> yeah, it's covered in a gold thing, right? Like what Zoltan said. Of all the houses here, most of them are pretty normal, and then you got this one golden gaudy house. Okay, before we talk to Zoltan here, I do want to visit. Chance to surrender on orthodox books. Grimoires and tracts blaspheming the sacred flame especially. Well, hope he doesn't look in my backpack. I don't even have a backpack. Just want to confirm if you can make some griffin armor for me. Top. Sure. Yeah, have that. And these boots. Boots? Yeah, level 18, enhanced griffin boots. And we have most of the ingredients, except for leather scraps, which we can buy very easily. Level 18, enhanced griffin armor. Oh. Missing monster feather, which we can't buy. That might be a problem. Monster feather? Can we make monster feather? Oh, we can make dark steel ingot. We needed that, right? I think so. Might as well make a bit right here. We needed two, I think. For the sword. And then gauntlets. We don't have the formula for the gauntlets just yet. Enhanced griffin trousers. Hmm. Okay, so later when we actually go into Rosemary in time, let's take out the, um, the old so set of long. armor. We've only had this set for like... A day, and now we're, we're parting with it. Hmm. What was the set that we were using before this anyway? Was that Griffin? 